So how do you build an algorithm to find the best dividend stocks? Well, the first step that anybody, of course, would take would be to go to ChatGPT and ask ChatPT, how do you build an algorithm to uh, find the best dividend stocks? And here's what they said. And the dividend says, define your criteria for what you want. Gather the data on the dividend stocks. Use machine learning uh, to analyze the data and identify patterns. Train the algorithm on historical data to, in to identify the stocks. Test the algorithm on the new data to see how it performs. Refine the algorithm based on the results of the testing. And then implement your algorithm in the trading platform and other investment tools to help investors identify the best dividend stocks based on that criteria. Well, that's simple enough. Well, then you ask it some more questions and some more questions. And when you're done, this is what it looks like. What I'm going to do today is walk you through this and show you what I have discovered the best dividend stocks are. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, is my algorithm up and operating to pick on a continuing basis the best dividend stocks? No. What I have been able to do, though, is gather the data and basically put it into a algorithm that ranks the data on the performance of the stock as well as the performance of the dividend looking at history. I don't have a, uh, any means to look into the front forward, thus I have not plugged in machine learning so that I have not been able to create a ongoing uh, analysis. But for right now, based on past information of the performance of the, the stock, the performance of the sector, and the performance of their ability to pay and consistency to pay dividends, I have identified the best stocks out of 41 that I'm analyzing. So let me take you beyond just looking at it and let me show you how it works. Okay, this is the result of the work that I've done and I'm doing it on an Excel spreadsheet that when you, if you go to uh, the uh, data section, you can see I enter a, here I enter an, a ticker symbol, and then I click up here in stocks, and Microsoft automatically converts that to this message here. Then when I go and click on here, I get a page uh, insert, and it then populates my, my, the rest of my Expel sheet, Expel cell Excel spreadsheet with the data that I want them to plug in, such as the description, um, the um, PE ratio, the current price, um, and, I, and if I want the volume, a year incorporated, all kinds of information that automatically feeds itself. What that basically means is that this price today changes, and as we're talking, you will see it change, thus to give me a change in the representation, because what I'm looking to do is to measure it against the performance of the stock over the last three months from the purchase price on De uh, December the uh, 1st, 2022. So that will then change the return that I've made on that stock from the last three months. That then gives me a, a means by which to rate it, the uh, Morgan Stanley here, to all these other 42 stocks in that category of performance. Then what I have done is searched elsewhere and came up uh, actually, um, Excel feeds the, the dividend, um, and I uh, then convert that to the, the value of the dividend. I then go search elsewhere the data. I gather data uh, for five-year um, growth of that dividend, the dividend safety, 
and then the consistency of the dividend. And I rank each of these categories. As they change, so does the ranking. Thus, this becomes an algorithm. Here is today's price. And as I say, you will see it change. Then what I did from um, Microsoft's input, I have put the industry, and then I color coded each of the industries so that visually I can see how oil and gas is performing uh, relative to uh, investment banking. Then, then what I do is I uh, use my purchase price and the current price to create a ongoing um, uh, determination of the performance of the stock over the last three months. As you can see here, um, Morgan Stanley over the fa past three months has uh, increased its value uh, in trading by 4.3% and Devon Energy has lost 18% while Citigroup is up 8% and uh, Broadcom is up 15%. These numbers change as this number, uh, today's price changes relative to the purchase price on uh, December the, the, the 1st. So then I then also, if the, uh, the Excel spreadsheet program gives me its current P, uh, PE ratio, its current market cap. Then what I do is give a ranking for their performance in each of these categories. In other words, how does their dividend yield 3.9% uh, compare to Haynes that pays 10.8%? And thus, Haynes gets a better ranking than uh, Morgan Stanley. Then I give a ranking based on the five-year consistency of their dividend. Um, Morgan Stanley has a 26% growth in their dividend over the past five years, where Haynes has a zero growth. So thus, they get a different ranking. Then I rank the uh, dividend safety, A to F. And again, you can see Morgan Stanley gets an A and, um, and, and Heinz gets an F. That creates a score. I do the same thing for dividend consistency. I do the same thing for the return. I do the same thing for the PE ratio. And then I have them all those through the algorithm right there, you just saw the price change, uh, and which then changed the PE ratio and then will change the score. Thus, uh, of my 42 stocks, Morgan Stanley has the best rating as a dividend stock, followed by um, Devon uh, Energy, even though its return over the last three months is down 18%. And uh, we also then can see uh, the Haynes has a score of 4.24. Quite surprising to me was 3M. 3M has a dividend of 5.2%. Uh, its its uh, growth of that dividend or the dividend is five dollars and ninety six cents. The uh, but the growth rate is d at four percent, whereas Morgan Stanley's is up as twenty six percent. It got actually an F in its uh, safety of dividend and its consistency of dividend. These are not numbers I come up with or ratings. This is what Wall Street does. So. That is why, and this, as I said, surprised me, of the 42 stocks, 3M is the worst ranked of the, um, of the stocks. So it comes down with a score of, um, and, and here again, it's at a three-month performance rate of negative uh, 14%. So it has a score of 4.27 whereas Morgan Stanley has a score of 1.41. Uh, so that's my interpretation 
of an algorithm that is somewhat manually adjusted. But what I'm intending to do is learn more about machine learning so that I can plug that into this and it give me an ongoing evaluation of my um, dividend stocks. So what I want to do is then make this available to you. And how I'm choosing to do that is I will make it a part of our Patreon Discord. Uh, this will appear there as well as uh, the analysis I did on the uh, genome sequencing stocks and the semiconductor stocks. And what I want to build for you is a place that you can go and say, okay, this is my dividend portfolio. How does it compare with something that is created from an algorithm to measure them? So this will be on our Discord and will eventually, because Discords aren't always as friendly as f websites, it will eventually be on our website. And I'll explain to you how you can access this information if this is the kind of investment information that you'd like to have available to you. Okay, what I want to do is give you a access point to the information that I'm creating. Uh, I have become very knowledgeable in ChatGPT. Uh, you may have seen I've learned how to create my own avatar and make presentations with that avatar. But I also want to learn machine learning and use it to analyze my stock portfolio and hopefully your stock portfolio. So it's going to be available immediately on our Discord. And this is the pricing on our Discord. Uh, just to come in and chat, it's $4 uh, a month. To get access to my trading portfolio and my trading alerts and this kind of information, it's going to be $10 a month. Why is, and, and then if you want to get involved in the, the uh, information through our uh, swing trading platform with Mark Willett, that's $60 a month. Why are we charging for that? Because it, it involves labor. It involves work of people. I have a support system. And in order to pay for that support system, I have to generate revenues. Well, don't you get paid, Carrie, for uh, uh, doing the, the YouTube thing and paid per click and paid for view? Yeah, I make about 1.25 cents for your view. That isn't going to cover the cost of the people that I hire to help me do these things. So I'm asking if this is something that you want access to, uh, I'm going to ask you to pay no more than what you pay for your Starbucks cup of coffee, yeah. okay? If you get the high end, um, or at least if you go there more than once a week. So that's how I want to do this. I hope you find it beneficial to you. And I hope you subscribe to the channel. You actually come and subscribe to the Discord. The Discord link will be in the description. And I want to help you to become a better investor. It's that simple. Uh, I have knowledge. I have a passion to acquire more knowledge uh, and, and to learn more about the technology that is giving me the ability to produce um, the, the spreadsheet that I just showed you, and I'm going to continue to grow. And then what I really want to do is I want to get enough of you paying $10 a month that I can go out and hire someone who even has more knowledge and more talent than I do, and you help support it. If that If that's appealing to you, Go to the Discord, go to the Patreon, commit to $10 a month, and I'll do my damnedest to make you a better investor.